There are many famous families in the world. The Windsors, the Beckhams, the Jacksons. And our next guests are hoping to make it onto that esteemed list. Yes, they found fame on the reality show The Only Way is Essex. And now the Sims family have their very own fly-on-the-wall TV series as they set their sights on going global. Speaking to them in just a moment, here's Lorna Shaddock. <laughs> oh, we upset you already. We're joining us now, the Sims family, Chloe, Frankie, Demi and Charlotte. Did you need to make a correction on that point? We're not from Basildon, hon. Okay, we would like oh. to make that clear in that case. It's all right, we let it go. Um, so, listen, I mean, what a change for you, then, that you're going to be doing something completely different. How hard was it to leave Towie behind after all those years? It was really hard and it was something that I was thinking about for some time. But it's not a light decision, like almost 12 years of the same job. Like, it was a big thing for me to make that step, but it's something that I've always wanted to do, especially to work directly with my family rather than in such a big cast, you yeah. know? So um, I'm so excited that I've took the leap and it's panned out this way, and um, we're going to get to live our dream out together, aren't we? Yeah. And so what is it, to, you know, describe what the what the format of it is going to be? Because, of course, you know, people have seen Keeping Up with the Kardashians. They know about the whole fly on the wall thing. Is it going to be warts and all? What are we going to see? I think that with this show, you're going to really see a good insight into our real lives. Um, the show that we left recently, obviously, it was reality. So you did see portions of our personality, but you didn't get to see us like what we're like first thing in the morning, how we interact <laughs> with each other, really. Is this how you are first thing in the morning? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. I mean, you all look like you've just woken up, obviously. No, Not. It's like no. two hours worth of plan. <laughs> Frankie, how are you feeling, you know, the kind of the whole first thing in the morning? You're going to be embracing this? Yep, yeah, this is it. Take me as I am. Yeah, I think it'll take some getting used to, like having obviously a camera in your face as soon as you yeah. wake up, no makeup. We're always seen in full glam, hair and makeup done, so it'll be completely different but I'm excited I want people to see the real us and this is like just the best opportunity do you get to edit bits out do you get to say oh no please don't put that bit in we will be in control of the edit which is amazing we'll be in control of sort of what we say where we go which we've never had before um so yeah but we do want to keep it as raw as possible between us we have spoken and that's how we want it we want it completely authentic and how did you feel when you had these conversations for the first time with any fans TV? Because, of course, they have a bit of a reputation for the <laughs> kind of stuff that they normally do, which it's is a bit more... Adult content, should we describe it Adult as? Yeah. content. So um, how do those conversations go? Well, there is obviously a bit of a taboo around OnlyFans, but as we've sort of spoken with them more, and Charlie, you obviously know a lot about it and you introduced us so to So, yeah, them. OFTV is more like the sister platform, but right. it's kind of stepping away from the kind of explicit or the nudity side, um, and it's all going to be safe-to-work stuff, um, and it will be suitable for anybody to watch, and you can download it as a streaming app on your iPhone, Android and smart TV, so you can watch it globally. So doing something quite different. And you're going to be joining the girls for the first time. And you've got the, the management company. And do you manage all of your sisters? Is that right? Yeah. I How mean... on earth does that <laughs> work? We call him the brother chart. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the Chris Jenner of the family? Yeah. yeah, I manage all of them, brother through all of them, try and give them advice. Nobody listens, but <laughs> someone's got to do crazy? it. Is that not crazy? It can be a little bit tense. Like, we've all had, we've all had our moments, but... Everybody's here on time. We, we've, well, well okay. one of them weren't. <laughs> didn't even have time to stick my lashes on, so there's no judge me. <laughs> However, no, you are here. You're on the sofa with us. How, Demi, how do you all get on? You know, because, um, as you were saying, Claire, you know, a lot of you have worked with sort of other people, but to all work together in this way, to have this, this intensity, because you're going to be living together, yeah. which you don't do at the moment, yeah. and it's going to have that sort of, like, right, here you all are in the same house. Well, to be honest, to be living together, to be working together and to be socialising together, it's going to be a lot. And I think there's going to be a lot of laughter. There's going to be a lot of bickering, guys, <laughs> right? I need us all to make up, like, straight away afterwards. But, um, yeah, I think it's going to be really good. And I think you're going to get to see um, a raw, uncut side of us that you've never seen before. Obviously, when the Kardashians kind of did what they did, that was, like, totally new, kind of, like, out of left field. People have got a little bit used to that. What would be the thing about your show where people will say that was special that is what the sims have done which nobody else has done before well everything's going to be brand new to us like like obviously we've lived a life of essex luxury but to be going to america and actually live in the american luxury oh, we've see. not ever got to do that yeah. so for viewers to actually see us step out of essex I think it's going to be interesting. Right, brilliant. Chloe, what kind of reaction have you had from fans? You know, you've obviously announced that you're leaving. Have there been... What have people said? 
It's been all positive, to be honest with you. Um, I was actually in Ibiza along with my sisters mm -hmm. when the news came out. And it was really surreal, because obviously this has been a little bit of a secret. And then I was walking around and people were like, congratulations, oh. we can't wait to watch the show. And I was like, oh my God, they know. <laughs> it's like, it's a bit weird, but yeah. Um, yeah. And on social media, it's all been really positive. So that's a good start. Because, um, you know, obviously the downsides of social media, people have got We their are opinions. so looking forward to it. And actually, I think first thing in the morning, last thing at night, they, those moments where um, it gets really kind of real and raw and be, it'll be, be fascinating. We're going to capture a lot Go of on. things that people wouldn't expect what, us to show. One other really special thing for me. Can I, can I just say this? Can I just see your nails, you two? <laughs> are you on Nail Watch? Are you, I just, I just want to know, are you Norwich City fans? <laughs> I can't, no, I can't, it's it's the most exciting thing. No, these are my beef for now. Are they, are, are they not Norwich City, yellow and green? <laughs> no. Oh, we're really? We're, we're, we're West Ham, through and through. I would just like to say, you know. Sorry to disappoint you. I thought maybe. Mm, never mind. Listen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Great to hear about it and good luck with the new show. Thank, thank you so much.